Welcome in, everybody, to another episode of the Brett Allen Show. We have a very special guest today, a return guest who visited us two years ago uh, when they were uh, promoting the Big Show show. Uh, and now we are here to talk about another project altogether separate where she plays the lead, uh, Life by Ella. Uh, and it's uh, available here to stream soon, if not already, on Apple TV+. Plus. Lily, thanks for your time. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, I'm so excited to be here and talk about Life by Ella. Yes, well, it's been two years since we've talked. I think the last time we were just kind of starting this whole pandemic craziness, and now uh, your career has just exploded, which I knew that it would. So how does it feel to have this project available, and uh, how exciting is it for you? I am just over the moon excited. This is such a big deal for me, but also such a big deal for everyone who worked on this project. It was such a group effort and everyone, all the cast and crew just worked so, so, so hard to put this amazing show together and to tell this story that is so important to be told. Um, I was so grateful when I when I booked this role that I was, that I was entrusted to play this character and to tell this story because um, it's such an important, it's, it's such an important story to tell. Yeah, can you let people in on what it's about and what they can expect? You play the lead, Ella McCaffrey, and it's just sort of a coming of age story, but really, I mean, you'd probably do a much better job <laughs> describing it. But I've seen a few yeah. episodes and, and I absolutely have just fallen in love with it. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, it's an, it's an amazing story. Life by Ella is the story of the incredible Ella, who I, I play Ella, um, who's actually in remission for cancer and is going back to school with this new perspective on life that going through treatment for cancer has kind of taught her. Yeah. Um, before cancer, Ella was kind of just more of a follower than she was a leader. She just wanted people to like her. She wanted to fit in. She wanted, she didn't want anyone to think that I don't know. She didn't want. She just wanted to fit in, and I feel like a lot of teenagers can really relate to that. Um, but going through cancer and going through treatment, she really realized that you always have to be yourself, no matter what. You have to live life to the fullest because you only have one chance to live your life. And Ella has been given this second chance that not everyone gets, and she isn't going to let anything get in the way of her living her life to the fullest and just being who she is. 100% truthfully. And I really love that about my character. And it's something that I have learned from her. And I, something that I also help that I, that I also hope that viewers can take away from this story. Yeah. Well, I mean, you do just a good job and I think people are just going to love it if, and when they get a chance to watch. So I want to ask, because again, you know, you were on the big show show, which was, you played a really prominent character on that series, but now you're leading a series. Um, how does it feel to be doing that? And also, how have other projects in the past sort of prepared you to really just, you know, be the one? I'm not, no pressure, <laughs> but uh, to just kind of be running things as far as like being the series lead and, and sort of having your character not supporting the story, which is equally as important, but really driving it uh, yeah. this time around. Yeah. So, one thing that I love about acting is that you're really just portraying human experiences and human emotions. And every single day that I live my life, I'm going through new things and I am experiencing new things and I'm experiencing new emotions. And all of that makes me a better actor every single day. Yeah. And going through playing Mandy on the Big Show show and playing Matilda on the tour of Matilda the Musical and doing all the theater productions that I've been in and all of the short films that I did when I lived in New York have really prepared me for every role after the project that I had just previously done. It's hard to explain, but- No, I get it. I mean, just like, I'm so grateful for every project that I've done because every single one that I do teaches me something new about myself and myself as an actor. Um, and I'm so grateful for that. And Life by Ella, is really just such an amazing project. And I've been able to pour my heart and soul into telling this story. And I just, I love it so much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think, you know, when you are doing these things and you're a part of a world that's so, I think, markably different than what people are used to, um, you know, I, I think it's different, but uh, when people get a chance to watch this and it uh, is premiering today, actually, I just got a note here. Um, 
I think people are going to love it. And you're on a great show and you have a great supporting cast. Um, yeah. So congratulations on it. And again, it's always a pleasure to chat with you. I'm, all the success that you have had uh, from the beginning to now and, and your future, it's all very, very well deserved. So please watch this very important show. It's oh. just absolutely spectacular. And then hop over to Netflix and binge the big show show. Yeah, everyone go check out Life by Ella. It is on Apple TV Plus right now. So go yes. watch all 10 episodes. It's available. All 10 episodes are available so you can binge them. I mean, over, lab over Labor Day weekend, why not? Go, go Why not, watch. right? It's the perfect time to watch all 10 episodes of Life by Ella. And yeah, tell all your friends. Tell everyone to watch it. Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Lily uh, Brooks, for your time. It's always a pleasure chatting with you. Yeah.